Turks and I have a July favorites video for you today. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff uh, that came out in July and just stuff that I was into. So uh, let's take a look and see. Okay, bye Turks. And see what I got. Uh, okay, so first pins. It was a really good month for pins. So I just picked out a couple of my favorites. These from Japan LA. Uh, Rilakkuma and Rilakkuma. I am a sucker for the Rakuma. Rilakkuma in uh, a cat suit. I can't even deal with it. It's so cute. So I had to get these. Um, here, charts. You hold on to all that stuff. Um, there's one by Eric Bukima. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, I subscribe to Pin Club. They're out of the UK, and it's a monthly subscription. And it is my most favorite subscription ever. They just send you one pin and it's totally random. You never know what you're going to get. And it's, uh, I love the mystery and this is one of my most favorites. So definitely check them both out on Instagram. And uh, if you can sign up, do it because um, I have not been disappointed. I love them. And Anne Shen is one of my favorite illustrators. And she has been doing the most amazing you don't really need this. The most amazing mermaid pins. They're enormous. Like, look how huge they are. And um, they're just fabulous, I think. And uh, she's coming out with even more. I think she's doing like a mermaid a month. So she's going to be getting a lot of my money soon because these are incredible. Yeah. There you go, Turtle Bean. Uh, oh, something super exciting when we went to Toys R Us, as we do. I found Bubbles! So excited for the new show and Bubbles is my spirit animal. She always has been. Um, I was obsessed with uh, Powerpuff Girls in the 90s and I just I can't leave a Bubbles unpurchased. <laughs> so I think I'm probably gonna have to go back and get the other two so I can have the whole set but she's the best. She's my favorite. So yeah. It was exciting. That was a fun find. Really excited. They have a little section. So cute. Oh, I'm so glad that a new generation gets to appreciate the Powerpuff Girls. Um, and let's see. So I decided that um, I'm going to have a whole shelf in my studio dedicated to Polly Pocket. I have a whole bunch from when I was little that I absolutely adore. And I wanted to kind of supplement that with some old ones that I wanted. So I got my first one. We got this on eBay. Um, Andy got it for me. It's Cinderella's house. Okay. Okay. So it opens up. This is incredible. I promise it opens up. There we go. So it's got like her little closet here. Make sure you can see that. With dress. Her dress is also right here. You can see side and just kind of threw the figures in but one of the coolest things is you've got okay oh no the slipper is broken that's okay it flips over and it's here ah, so good and uh, one of the coolest things about this is that it opens up too so you can put your scrub cinderella right there right and then twist it around and now she's fancy. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. I love it. So I've been uh, displaying it closed just because I think the facade of the house is amazing. Um, but hopefully I will have more Polly Pockets coming soon. But Cinderella is my favorite. She was uh, growing up, I loved the Little Mermaid the best just because I was a child of the 80s. <laughs> um, but as an adult, Cinderella is definitely my favorite, so I need more. More! Uh, okay, so now on to Sailor Moon things. So you saw I have a couple of videos of some petite charas, so I wanted to pick out a couple of my favorites from the sets that I talked about. So I've got uh, Sailor Moon from the Yukata set. She's so precious, I love it. And uh, how amazing. This Venus with her little Artemis hair clip kills me. It's so good. It was, this was the set I was most excited for 
ever, I think. <laughs> and I don't know if they'll ever be able to top it because it's so cute. And in the Land Sailor Stars set, I have an Eternal Sailor Moon. I just thought the detail on her was incredible. And uh, she's got a lot going on. She's so precious and wonderful and perfect. I love it. Yay! And super exciting. We went to Barnes & Noble to get some books for Emmett because he is obsessed with books, which is not a bad thing for your baby to be obsessed with. Um, and we were looking through, they have these whole sections of toys and blind boxes and stuff, and they had Twinkle Dolly charms. Holy crap! So, I have been looking for these forever. They came out, and then these in particular um, got crazy expensive, and because everybody wants them. So I have Luna as people which is adorable, but my, my own little holy grail, no pun intended, was the Chibi Moon and Helios. Like, these are like 20, 25 bucks on eBay and Amazon. I got it for $10 at Barnes & Noble of all places. So, if you're ever in the mood for some random Sailor Moon toys, check out Barnes & Noble. So weird. And last Sailor Moon thing, my friend Nina designed this shirt for International Santa Moon Day, which is August 6th, so check and see if you have something going on in town, because you probably do. Um, but how adorable is this shirt? Um, I love it so much. Everything she touches is just kawaii. Like, she can't make something that's not adorable, and she's so talented, and I love her. And these are up for sale. I'll put a link. Uh, they're still up for sale, and the proceeds will go to the folks that put together the Seattle um, Sailor Moon Day celebration. So uh, you can help them out and get a super cute shirt. It comes in a bunch of other colors besides pink, but, I mean, I had to get pink. There was nothing I could do. I love it so much, and I'm going to wear it. Look at this Luna. She's so perfect. I'm really excited. Nina's also going to have a lot of um, more merch and stuff soon, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. So good. And so this game is incredible. It's one of my favorites. It's called Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards Duel at Mount Skullfire. And it came out with a new one, which is technically what we bought in July to play. But we didn't really like it as much. They added a few things that, like, it's kind of hard when you just have two players. Um, and Andy and I like to just play it together. And um, so we ended up going back to the original, and we played the crap out of it. And it's so fun. It's hilarious. It moves quickly. It's easy to understand. It's... Uh, it's just a really fun game. And, of course, I have to play as the character Princess Holiday and her fury corn. I love it so much. Uh, so check it out. It's a little crass. Not gonna lie. But uh, it's really funny. And we love it. So more of that in the future. And now probably my most prized July possession. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Oh my god. I was so excited to get this book. <laughs> just like everybody who was just beside themselves to go get a new Harry Potter book. Um, I read the entire thing in, in one day, afternoon, and uh, I want to read it again, and I want to see the play so bad, and I want it to be a movie, and I want everything that has to do with it. Please take me to the Wizarding World. I want to go to Hogwarts. That is all. So, um, it's really, 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 really great. I don't even want to tell you what it's about. I had no idea what it was about, so, um, it's, it's so anyway, get it, read it, it's great. Yay! I hope you had a good July. I hope you have a wonderful August. I will be staying inside because it's the hottest month of the year in Texas, so I will become a vampire, and it'll be great. So, yay! Thanks so much for watching!